Go ahead. Good afternoon. My name is Phil Shave. Um, I come to you in, on this particular bill and introduce myself as uh, retired after nine years as Chief of Law Enforcement at Washington State Parks. I believe that gives me some special insight into the notion of uh, restricting or regulating uh, firearms in our local parks. Um, 2460 is, is designed to create a checkerboard of firearms laws by local jurisdictions. It would be so complex that compliance by the law-abiding public is impossible. It, design, it designates parks and public transit as locations at which a person might not be allowed to use a Washington State concealed pistol license to protect one's life. This makes no sense. Half a million Washington residents have passed the background checks required to legally carry a firearm and House Bill 2460 would make a mockery of both these people and our already robust state uh, firearms laws. When I retired as Chief of Law Enforcement at State Parks, we had historically allowed firearms in our parks without a single incident of any kind. Uh, that includes not just my tenure, but preceding that and after that as well. The National Park System recognize the right to carry firearms within national parks like Mount Rainier many years ago, um, partly after looking at los local jurisdictions like Washington State Parks and determining that the firearms legally carried in the parks were not an issue. 2460 allows my local librarian to ban firearms. Now, while I love to read, I certainly don't want my librarian making life and death decisions for me. 2460 would turn our rational, Please consistent state laws on firearms into a chaotic mess. Thank you. Thank you.